What up Racer, it's your own here and welcome back to another F1 2021 league racing video. Quite an unusual time for AOR on a Tuesday. But hey oh, here we are and we're back with another league racing video. If you did not see the previous race around Kota in the USA, then I would highly recommend you go check that one out because it was a very interesting race, both strategically and on track as well. So go check that one out. It was also interesting conditions in qualifying. And if you did not click off the video, well, it's spoiled for you now. I won the race and my teammates came home in second and in the end, Gaps and solid switch positions because there was a timing glitch. So that's good news for me because that means three less points for my main rival in this league. Who's still solid ninja snake and in the meanwhile I've built up quite a significant gap. I thought it would have been 36 points out of this race but it's actually 39 now. Due to solid being demoted to fourth place for USA. So I'm in a very lofty position at the moment. But let's focus on this qualifying session here in Portugal. I don't think I even mentioned we're racing here at Portimao today. And you can see I was having a bit of troubles here setting my first time lap on the softs. I invalidated twice. So this is essentially my third lap on this tire. And you can see front left on 6%. But I did put in provisional pole position for now. So that's good news. And... I was quite in a bit in a rush for time when going back into the pit lane, so I paused the video here quickly. You can see two tenths ahead currently of Rally Monster, and besides that, everyone into the 1 minute 17s. And I did have enough time in the end for another push lap. Perhaps I didn't have to rush as much as I was expecting, but just warming up the tires a little bit, and I can tell you this will be a very good lap. I think this is. Maybe my best qualifying lap I've ever done in a league race. Um, sector 1 still not optimal. There's definitely a tenth there. And then the awkward um, right-hander uphill. I could have optimized the track a little bit more. But I'll let you enjoy the ride. So I'll see you after the qualifying. And it is a very decent lap, a 1 minute 16.4 and that's even better than the time I put in, in time trial I think. So really happy with that, it wouldn't even have put me last in PSGL F1 on the PlayStation, so well it would have put me 19th, but still. For me this is a really good qualifying lap, I was very satisfied with it and as you'll see now in a moment, I'm 3 tenths clear off past the and basically six seven tenths from everyone who tried it on the soft compound um, one thing though you could see just a couple of moments ago that it took quite a while for the session to end and I think my AI might have done an extra lap here which is not optimal you will see that in a moment as well where I think I'll start off the formation lap with 7% tire wear so in the end it really didn't matter whether I set a lap time in the end, but I thought I would have saved a bit of tire wear by setting a new fastest lap relative to the three lap old softs, but apparently that really wasn't the case. Also interesting, in time trial now you can use equal cars, so I put in the exact amount of fuel I expected to use in equal cars, um, but in the end you'll see it was a little bit different. 
Anyways, we're starting off pole position. Two people on alternative strategies on the hards, a couple of drivers on mediums, with Iceman being the most prominent one, starting in seventh place. And the Fiverr lights are on. And it's a really short period until the lights go out. I'm usually not very strong at those, but this time it's quite a good start, I think. Of course, Bankai getting a better start on the pad, and he's currently side by side with Pasty heading into turns three and four. And really good start from me. Already 8 tenths clear of Pasty, who currently holds on to second place. And this was a really good start by me. Getting away from all the chaos that happened behind. I was very happy I got pole here because one thing I really didn't want would be to be on the inside for turn 1. Um, I don't think anybody got spun out there, so that's good. But personally, I was very happy I got the pole position here. Because it meant I could just pull off immediately without having to worry about potentially getting hit into turns 1, 2 or 3. Anyways, let's focus now. Heading into 3rd sector. You can see the gap to past is already more than a second. So I was trying to push as hard as possible here. Because I acknowledge this as being a very good opportunity to pull away from the rest of the field. And potentially dominating this race. So we're going to use quite a bit of ERS here on the straight. Portugal is very difficult when it comes to ERS management. I was running 7-10 wings for this race. And if you don't use any ERS throughout the whole lap, you'll approximately save, well, somewhere between 1 and 2% of the battery. So if you use your ERS, you have to be aware that it is a very scarce resource that you have around this track. As I pick up my first warning, a little bit of an unnecessary one, just marginally running out wide. But at this stage, I was okay with it, because my main goal was extending to Pasty and Bankai. And Bankai actually overtook Pasty there. And I was already nearly two seconds clear, a lap and a half into this race. So pulling a prime Vettel here, you can see I got, of course, the ideal racing line here, heading into turn one. Whereas... Pasty and Bankai had to leave each other's space. And in the end, I think it was a really clean start throughout the whole field here. And yeah, quite happy I managed to pull away here. So let's keep my head down for the rest of this race. You can already see heading into lap 3, DRS enabled. But we're two, two seconds ahead of Bankai, who actually makes a bit of a mistake here. So we're now two and a half seconds clear of him. Of course, it's still a very long race to go, but... It's better to already have a lead rather than having to work for it later on or a DRS train forming. In the meanwhile, we're looking at the minimap and my teammate who qualified in 11th place, I think, had a bit of a problem there and we'll cut to that now. Actually, no, we don't cut to that now because <laughs> I was listening to, uh, to her rage and I accidentally picked up another track limit there. So that means I'll have to be very careful for the rest of the race now, as I'm now on two warnings already. So you can see my teammate lap 7 making a move heading into turn 5, I think that is. But Solid actually got a switch back and... What? No! What are you doing? F*** you, Solid. He literally brake checked me. I have, I'm missing the front wing now. So really interesting, I'm not exactly sure what happened there, whether that was Solid's orientation being off, or whether there was major desync involved or anything, but really unfortunate for my teammate though, because of course she couldn't do anything about that, and yeah, really weird incident, I'm not sure entirely what happened there, but it did ruin my teammate's race a little bit, who now went onto a set of mediums. In the meanwhile, we're cutting back to my race, we're... Three and a half seconds ahead of Bankai. Bankai and I were basically doing equal pace for a very long time. And you could also see by my race director about half a minute ago that I posted. I was just doing very, very consistent laps. I was thinking about pitting on the end of lap 14. And Bankai actually does so. Because, well, on his pad he was definitely accumulating a bit more tire wear than I was. And... He thought, well, let's try and get an undercut and let's see what happens. In the meanwhile though, I think actually 
My main rival for this race at the moment is Iceman on his mediums. He's made his way up to second in the race, second place in the race. And he's only six seconds behind on his alternative strategy. So if he does decide to put on a set of softs, it could get really close by the end of this race. In the meanwhile though, we're looking at my in-lap. The soft compound tires around here, in my opinion, are the best race tires. For me personally, they don't overheat. I know for others, they might overheat. But for me, this was a really consistent race tire. You can still see, like, I'm only three tenths off of my personal best time on this compound. So, it really just shows the durability of this set of tires. So, really clean in-lap, I would say. And it's time to head into the pit lane, make sure we brake at the right moment and of course taking it quite carefully because I do have quite a significant lead in this race so there's no reason to push the pit lane as much as possible and in theory we should be clear in second place now and that actually is what happens. I ran a little bit wide there so I really didn't want to get my third warning because it would probably fuel Bankai to push harder and it would compromise my own race of course so i just lifted off there to make sure i didn't get a warning and in the end of course i still have quite a good lead to bankai still um, about three and a half to four seconds so quite good in the meanwhile you can also see i emerged i think 18 and a half seconds behind iceman on the previous lap but then a lap and a half later i closed in about half a second so his medium tires were still like in quite a good shape I would say but he actually decides to come into the pit lane now it's lap 17 and I was wondering what's he gonna do is he already gonna try and put on softs but no he's actually put on a set of hard compound tires so clearly he wasn't confident in keeping his tire temperatures under control on a set of softs because, well, in my opinion, softs are the best race tire, but if you can't keep your temperatures under control around this track, it will be very difficult. So, I was actually very relieved here, because Iceman's pace was really strong in this race, perhaps even a little bit better than mine. So, by him going onto the hearts, he most likely, or most certainly, won't catch me in this race. So, it's now still Bankai about three seconds behind. He's closed in a little bit, actually. In these early stages in this second stint, Bankai was a little bit faster than me. You can still see me conserving my ERS. And... Also, Jeff was being an idiot. And I usually don't really go through any radio commands. But Jeff just really needed to shut up. Um, I had time enough to just figure out where the command was for Jeff to shut up. Um, usually I only use driver from driver behind vehicle condition and weather report nothing else and in the meanwhile you can see a Ferrari spinning and that's Bankai making a bit of a mistake and he's rejoining the track right now in well the Mercedes just passed him so in fifth place oh shit what happened f***ing sausage curb killed me That's just killed my f***ing podium. Stone dead. Unfortunate there for Bankai. That was basically a guaranteed podium thrown out of the window. Meanwhile, I'm also listening to what the fastest lap was, an 18.9. And I was actually planning on trying to improve that, but then I saw Sneaky Ninja put in a 1 minute 18.1, and there was just no way I was getting that. The 19.5 I currently have was with basically using no ERS at all. You can see finishing the race here with about 60% battery. And it's the fourth win right now in AOR. Two in a row, so on a really good streak here. Meanwhile, Iceman getting the second place finish. Passi on track finished ahead of him, but he's on eight seconds of time penalties. And for the moment, it means that Cronax is actually... Third in this race, so GG's to him coming from, I believe, 13th place in the race. So, must have been a really good race by him. When it comes to my title rivals, they're nowhere to be seen in the top 5. Solid finished the race in 6th place and my teammate in 9th place. So, doing a really good job here in terms of extending the lead in the championship right now. 
I didn't even do that much practice for this race, so I was really surprised by my pace throughout this race. Although I do think by now that it's clear that high down for tracks really suit my driving style. It kind of felt like a practice session where every three laps or so I had to remind myself not to get any more track limit warnings and stay concentrated. It really looks easier than it is. Next up on the calendar is Suzuka, so if you don't want to miss that then make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you for the next video. Bye bye.